What's up, everybody? Grid by Guru here. What I want to do today is talk to you guys a little bit about a trade that I ended up taking. So, what I ended up doing was on SOL USDT, I ended up seeing what I think is a pretty good entry point. Um, and what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys a little bit about why I took it and what the setup is like. So, I trade exclusively on Pinex. Um, I use their grid bots to my advantage and I end up setting it up very similar to just like a, a regular spot trade, but I end up using the grid in order to catch any dips that potentially could happen. So what I ended up seeing was I saw that we have on the daily so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go out to the daily we have broken through our bollinger band our middle and we're coming down but i also saw that we have a uh, a wick down to about 133 ish and then a push back up so that tells me that there is some interest in this area so what I did was I backed it down to the four hour and I saw that we have some uh, a support area I would consider probably right here. Um, I'm going to put a line for you. An area right there. And the reason why I think it is that area and I feel good about that is because we have that area where it comes up and it bounces back down. We have this area. We have this area, this area, all in that, all hitting that line, basically that line that I just drew, the 150.62. So what I did was I went and I um, went down to the next one, okay? And this is the one that I think is a good area for a support. What I did was I drew a line on top where I think a good area is and a line on bottom where I think a good area is. I brought it over and I drew my box. So right now, what I have is I think that the lowest area that this pair will end up hitting currently is going to be somewhere in this box. Now, if you guys have watched any of my other videos, I do a lot of psychological stuff. And so I think 130 is a good bottom for my bot. Um, so I put my lowest parameter at 130. My top parameter, I went over here and I put it at 160. The reason I put it at 160, let me get rid of some of these circles here so I can end up highlighting about 160. The reason I put it at 160 is if I were to draw a line at 160, again, it's psychological. So there is going to be some aspect of, oh, it's a whole number. It's a nice, even whole number that people like. And so in this area, I see a lot of recently, a lot of kind of undecisive this. There's some candles that come down, candles go up, kind of candles go down, candles go up. So I'm thinking that this area could be a good top to my grid. And that's what I put is 160 as my top. Um, let's see. So I'm going to get rid of that. So that is a little bit about my setup. I have a SOL USDT grid going from 160 to 130. I, I am trading it on the four hour. If I break it back down, so I saw it on the four hour, I liked it. The two hour, it's extremely low on some of my indicators. It is looking like, if I go over here, it looks like we kind of stalled out. It looks like we've gone down and popped back up on the two hour. Um, I can keep going like on the one hour. Again, you're seeing a big area that this area is going to kind of be hopefully a good support area and it bounces here and comes back up. Um, so I have a top 
of 160. I have a bottom of 130. I think I have um, about, I don't remember how many grids it is. It's about, I think it's about, um, about 45. Let me check real quick how many grids I put. Um, I did post it to Pinex their web or their app. So if you are sitting there and you follow me, you probably got a notification earlier. I have 60 grids and it is a profit of 0.25% per grid. Um, so again, if you follow me on Pinex, you probably saw that I ended up uh, posting it. I wanted to tell you why I took the trade. I did a little write up there. I'm also very hesitant. Um, that Bitcoin is going to continue going, especially going into the weekend. Bitcoin's pretty high. Um, if we were to go over and we look at Bitcoin currently, um, if I look at the daily on Bitcoin, I'm looking at this area is going to be kind of an area that I think is going to be a support resistance area. So this this area of 49 all the way down to 47, um, up to 50. So that is going to be my area I'm watching. And what I am thinking will happen is this weekend, it'll come back down a little bit. I'm also thinking that this is the low low that we could potentially see, but I don't really feel like we are going to necessarily see that as easily as somewhere up here. I think we may end up seeing some 44 to 46 area and then it will continue on, okay? And so that's what I'm kind of banking on with my SOL USDT. I am banking on that it's going to drop down some as well. And then it's going to hit, probably bounce around a little bit and continue up, okay? I hope you guys liked this. I hope this was informational to you. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Um, send me a DM, send me a uh, message, comment on here. If you haven't already liked and subscribed my channel, please do so. It helps out to get the word out there. Again, Pinex is great. If you haven't already uh, signed up with us, click the link below and sign up. I hope you guys have a great weekend trading and I hope you all stay green.